Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Orchids and Me. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Today I want to share to you how I repot my three new special orchids, then Robium Farmery Pink, then Robium Amabili, and Cattleya Cascade. Unahin po natin ang then Robium Farmery Pink. Nakamount po siya. It's been more than six weeks since I bought them. And I'm thinking just to leave her alone in this mount. But she loves to be watered frequently so I've decided to place her in this bucket and have a semi-hydro set up. I think she's clean and there are no pests but to be sure I'll spray them with 70% isopropyl alcohol. It's a pure alcohol. I'll spray the leaves, the canes, in between the canes especially under the leaves and the whole plant. I've already tried this method in some of my other orchids and the alcohol didn't harm their leaves or even the new growth. And I will let them air dry for a few minutes. Then I will inspect the plant, the canes, if there are some sign of disease or problem the leaves then I'll cut it I think this one I need to cut it and the roots if there are some dead roots so let's cut some canes this one I think it's already um, dead anyway so I already in disinfected my cutting tool so you see I think this cane is dying already it's turning brown so I don't need to put some cinnamon and I don't know what are these black spots, but I feel that I need to take it out. So, I'll cut the cane. Sorry, sometimes the video gets blurred. So, here are the three canes that I cut. I, I think that's enough. So, now, spray naman po natin siya ng 3% or 10 volumes na hydrogen peroxide pure po itong gamit ko spray po natin yung lahat ng sa root system at saka yung pinagputulan natin ng cane and then the wood mount then air dry po natin siya. I'll use hydroton and corn size pumice in semi hydro setup so tingnan nyo po yung roots nya nagre react na po and she's developing new roots and there's a lot of new root growth so let's see if she like the semi hydro set up and grow roots in the leka and pamis or she'll remain in the mount. Mas maganda yata siya pag nasa mount, pag may flower na siya. That's why I didn't unmount her. So we will wait for the flowers. So ito naman po ang aking LC Purple Cascade Cattleya. So May mga spot-spot po siya sa likod ng dahon. Hindi ko alam kung spider mites. Pero katulad ng isa, spray rin po natin siya ng 70% isopropyl alcohol. Pure po ito. So, back of the leaves, yung mga stem, yung sa crown. Kasi baka may nakasingit na mga insects. Then, let's inspect the root system. So, nakalagay po siya sa styrofoam. Wala siyang gaanong new roots. Almost all of these old roots are dead. So, we'll just need to pull her out slowly from the basket. Usually po, ang mga old roots ng katleya ay hindi nagsasurvive. Kaya, dapat, pag nagripat ng katleya ay yung time na may new growth siya. So, these new roots are coming from the new growth. So, yan ang tamang timing ng pagre -repot. Wow, this new cane is trying to produce some flowers. Now, let's remove the styrofoam. The new roots are already starting to grow into the styrofoam. We really need to be careful not to damage the new roots. I think I need to leave some styrofoam intact because if not, the new roots will be damaged. Look at these small green new root tips. 
so now we need to cut the dead roots this root filaments if it's soft and there's no substance or velamin in it it's already dead then let's spray it with 3% or 10 volumes pure hydrogen peroxide the roots between the canes and then let it air dry dito po natin siya ilalagay sa self-watering pot na malaki again po natin siya ng hydrogen with pumice Nagtatry po ko ngayon ng ibang inorganic media mixed with hydrotone. Then, tap po natin para medyo masiksik. And ready na po siya. So, at least tong pot na to, walang mga slits. So, hindi lalabas ang roots niya. So, okay na siya. Ang last step po ay check natin mabuti kung stable siya at walang natatakpan na new growth ang potting media. So, spray rin natin ng 70% isopropyl alcohol tung dendrobium amabili behind the leaves, sa crown, sa stems, then ripat natin. So, binabad ko na po siya sa tubig. Wow, ang dami na niyang new roots. Mukhang late na ako sa pagre-repat. Meron na rin siyang new growth. Kailangan ko na talagang gupitin ang basket para matanggal siya at huwag masira ang mga roots niya. So, tanggalin ko po muna siya sa basket niya. Yung mga white na yan, mga new roots niya yan, talagang late na ako. Kasi, di ko akalain, ganun siya kabilis mag-react compared dun sa dalawa. Meron po kasi ako nabasa na pag may new orchids, dapat daw i-separate from other orchids or other collections for at least 6 weeks para malaman nyo po kung meron siyang mga disease or pest or problema bago nyo siya i-sama sa iba nyong orchids. Pero pwede rin naman po na i-treat nyo na kaagad or i-repat nyo na kaagad kaya lang ako sinet aside ko po muna siya kasi marami pa akong ibang ginagawa at pag-iisipan ko pa kung anong gagawin ko sa kanya. So, bago po natin spray ng 3% or 10 volumes ng hydrogen peroxide, tanggalin po muna natin yung mga dead roots. Or linisin muna natin yung roots nila. Yung parang mga sinulid na yan, mga dead roots na po yan. Ang tigas pa ng coconut husk niya, mukhang mahihirapan akong tanggalin siya dito at ilagay sa ibang pating media. At may mga new roots siya sa loob. Napapaligiran pa ng roots yung coconut husk. So now, let's spray her with hydrogen peroxide. Then, air dry. So, instead of self-watering pot, mukhang dito ko na lang siya ilalagay sa clay pot with charcoal. I think the coconut husk will still last for a year. I don't want to disturb the roots and cause setback. I want to see her flowers this coming summer. Then I'll place some hydroton on top. I hope that she'll grow her roots into the hydroton area so there will be a transition from the coconut husk to hydroton and by next year, I can repot her to the self-watering pot or pure hydrogen. So, here they are. Thank you for watching. Subscribe po kayo. Comment. Like. Give me some questions. At see you next video. Bye-bye.